Welcome back guys. Today's video is going to be super quick and super easy. Now I'm going to teach you how to spawn Pokemon live into your games such as in Sword and Shield or Legends Arceus using PK Hex's live hex feature. Now first things first, you will need to make sure you download the latest plugin release from Archit's GitHub and additionally you will need the latest release of Sysbot Base as well. Now I will have both links in the description below. Make sure that once you download these two, you are dragging them into the root of your SD card to merge it in. Now don't forget that there is also a Discord link to the PK Hex development server if you run into any issues, though you should check out the wiki before asking any questions. Now, once you have ALM setup downloaded, place it in a new folder. I named mine PK Hex and ran the file. Once you do, you'll see what I have currently displayed in my folder. Next, open up PK Hex. Then you want to go ahead and click on Tools, Auto Legality Mod, and then you want to scroll down to Open Live Hex. Now you'll see the live hex UI open and the first thing you want to do is put in your switch IP. Once you do, go ahead and click on the connect button. Once you go ahead and click on connect, you'll end up seeing the boxes on PK hex load up on your current pasture. Now for this video, my game is currently trading Pokemon in Legends Arceus. Now you can cycle through the boxes here and any changes or Pokemon you create and set into your pasture will reflect in real time in the game. Now, you can even set a Pokemon while you're in the middle of a trade, so that's also pretty neat. Now, I'm not going to go into everything that's listed here as the average player does not need it. Now, what you might be interested in though is the block editor at the bottom. Now, here you have a few options including changing your money data, your trainer info, Pokedex, and items. Now, once you click on one of these, you can go ahead and click on edit block and you can go ahead and change it as you wish. Now that's all there really is to live hex for the average user. If you need a more in-depth tutorial on how to use PK hex, make sure to check out my official PK hex tutorial from earlier. That's it guys. I hope you guys have a good one.